So I'm going to start by zooming back out to 100% with Control 0. Control Alt 0 is 100. Control 0 actually fits into the window, so let's, let's zoom out so we can see everything. Um, I've selected the Dodge tool first. Dodge, Burn, and Sponge. Dodge, um, I'm using my brush shortcuts, uh, left and right bracket key to change the size here. Dodge brightens things. Uh, so actually what I want to use first is the burn tool, because burn, burn tool is going to decrease things. The higher the exposure, the more it burns something. Usually you want to uh, burn, make darker shadows, and dodge, make lighter highlights. But in this case, I'm going to leave it on midtones, and I'm going to try and make a bit of a vignette. Uh, this doesn't always work really well, but I'll give it a shot. Um, a vignette highlights the center of the picture by darkening the edges and drawing your eyes in towards the center. And in fact, this has actually intensified the shadow there quite a bit, which is a good effect. Now you can see I'm affecting his hand. What I might want to do is either do this on a second layer and use a mask later, or go use that history brush tool I was telling you about. So let's change to highlights for the sky, and just darken parts of the sky, and darken around his hand, and darken the ground. And you can see we've actually kind of drawn the eye into the center of the picture here just by darkening the edges um, and created a, a strong sense of, um, I don't know, focus around his face. So let's undo all of that. Uh, the burn tool works in the same way. The dodge tool, sorry, works in the same way. Uh, brightening, in this case, shadows. Let's change it to highlights. And I'll make the sky white for no apparent reason. And I'm going to decrease the hardness of my brush, because you can see it's really hard there, by using shift and left bracket. And I've pulled the detail out of the out of the sky. Um, so that's those tools. The sponge tool is for adding and removing color. This board might be too distracting. So what I could do, I'm going to zoom in on it, control alt zero to view it 100%, and then I'm using the space bar and clicking and pushing around on my image to get this into uh, place. I've got desaturate set, um, which is exactly what I want, but my flow is set pretty high, so I'm going to change it to 20%, or 25 should be good. And I'm just going to click and drag back and forth over his board to pull the color out of it. And if I hit tab, all my controls disappear so I can see more of the picture. Hit tab, all my menus come back. Hit control zero to view the whole image. It doesn't look very good, but it certainly has um, taken the focus away from his board and brought it again up to my subject.